The second boat on the list is the regal looking noble 5 metre console. With its bright colours and elevated casting deck, this boat was out to impress. The Noble 5 metre console is the perfect boat for a bit of barra hunting in the Northern Territory, but with its freeboard and soft ride, it won't be out of place in southern waters. There's a heap of cockpit space and plenty of storage for all your fishing tackle. The elevated casting deck, tidy scupper system and brilliant non-slip rubber deck are big features on this barra basher. Partnered with a big 130 horsepower Evinrude E-Tech, the Noble boasts lots of torque and a lot of power. This little fishing gem had all the judges wanting to cast a line. What did they have to say about the five metre Noble? Look, I didn't think I'd say this today with all these tinnies and 15 to 20 knots of southwest wind. And it is pretty bumpy out there. We've got a, a building swell. But uh, I've been blown away by the ride of the Noble five metre centre console. I thought it was really smooth. At no time did it bang out there. It also deflected the spray beautifully. It's got a good ride. It's very, very soft. It's probably one of the softer boats we've tested. Um, the whole shape at the bottom is good. It's creating the soft ride. The highlight of it is the, the design of the hull to make it ride so soft in some of the slop that we've got out there. It's quite good and I'm impressed with it. The highlight of this craft for me would be the interior finish. Storage just looks good on the inside. Exterior, I mean, it's got a good paint job and wrap as well, so it's, it's, it's a fancy looking boat. This boat has a great sense of utility and fishability. And uh, the way the boat's been designed, so there's a lot of cockpit space, plenty of storage for all your fishing tackle, and um, a really nice, what I would call, professional kind of fishing fit out. But by virtue of its layout, it would be a perfect boat as a Sydney Harbour boat, fishing for sort of kings and things, a big bay boat like a Botany Bay boat or a Port Phillip Bay boat, and a big river boat for fishing for barra up top end. It's got a, a specialised cork flooring that's actually adhered to the aluminium, which I think is pretty good. It's very non-slip and it's a little bit soft underfoot, which is good. Motor's good, plenty of punch, E-Tech, punchy out of the hole and plenty of torque right through the range, so it's fantastic. It's got a big casting deck, it looks really good. Something that I'd probably use fishing for barra in the bays maybe a little bit of mild offshore work. Such as the ride and the seaworthiness, it's, it's got quite a high freeboard, it's quite high off the water. You can also use it for sort of fishing offshore and fishing for snapper on, on reefs, you know, easily out to 120 metres on a good day. One thing in particular that I really like on any boat is a self-training deck. For me, crossing bars and things like that, safety is a priority and that's something that I prefer, you know, in case I take one over the front. Bowsprit and roller, and look at the pollard. And that's quite it's stuff, all, it? it is, it's all good heavy duty stuff. They've put the niceties into it, they've trimmed it really well. There's yeah. no raw ridges. And even that cutting board, instead of just throwing on a, you know, an aftermarket one or you know, just lightweight aluminium frame, it's got that good solid feel. You know, you feel like you can really sort of lean on it, knock the fillets off of off something or other, you know, if not fading up. Stability at rest is very good considering that it's got the good ride and a deeper view than usual. I like the way they've done the deck out, it's got a lot of storage space. Yeah, it works as a fishing boat. Packed with features, great value for money, suitable for all types of conditions. Does the Noble have enough to take the title? <laughs>